Hey guys, well, Chinese, um, new, China has instituted new rules that are meant to make it easier for Chinese companies to list overseas. These rules are targeted at variable interest entities, or VIEs, and this is a structure that Chinese companies have used for years to go public by registering offshore, but still maintaining control of operations in China. So in the past, uh, the Chinese uh, regulators didn't actually have to, um, these companies weren't subject to Chinese regulatory approval. However, in 2021, after the, the drama that we saw after um, of the ride-hailing giant uh, Didi, the Chinese uh, securities regulator changed its mind. So now Chinese companies have to seek approval from the CSRC if 50% of operating revenue Profit assets or net assets are derived by a domestic company, so the Chinese part of the company, in the most recent fiscal year, and if the main part of the business is in China or the most senior executives are Chinese nationals or live in China. So the commission would review then and potentially reject companies if they were deemed, um, if the listing was deemed harmful to Chinese national security or if the listing exposes Chinese data or statistics unnecessarily. So uh, the regulator had clarified that companies that are already listed, so the companies like Alibaba or Baidu, are not subject and don't have to be required to file uh, for these new regulations unless they decide that they're going to list um, and um, in a secondary listing or raise more capital. So that is the reason why we saw this rush of Chinese companies uh, trying to sort out their IPOs uh, before today. So seven Chinese companies listed in the U.S., and it doesn't sound like a whole lot, except that there were six companies in all of 2022, guys, that listed in the U.S. because of all the geopolitical wow. problems. Wow. Uh, well, as good a month as the S&P has had, uh, both the FXI and the K-Web have done even better. A pretty remarkable uh, shift in policy. Eunice, uh, talk soon. Eunice Soon joining us tonight from Beijing.